So in this example, we have another multi-fluid manometer with water, oil, mercury, and gasoline. And they are both closed off. Now as you see, we have a gauge on the left-hand side with a reading of 370 kilopascals. And on the right side, we just have a pipe filled with gasoline. And we are trying to see what the pressure is inside of the gasoline pipe. So as you recall, the pressure is given to us as the density of the fluid times our gravity times the height of the column of fluid. Or you can write this as gamma times H. And this is all given to us in newtons per meter squared. Or you can write it as a pascal. So we are given not densities but our specific gravities of each fluid. We can easily convert this to density because specific gravity is equal to the density of the fluid over the density of water. And it is also equal to the specific weight of the fluid over the specific weight of water. Because all we do is multiply gravity because gamma equals density times gravity. And we can see that the ratio still remains the same. So So let's see what we're given. So we know the density of water is a thousand. So let me just multiply this. So we know it's a thousand. So we're given specific gravity of gasoline, mercury, oil, and well water we already know. So we just need to multiply all our specific gravities by a thousand to get the density of that fluid. So for gasoline we multiply by a thousand and we have 700. For oil it is 790 and these are all kilograms per meter cubed. Kilogram per meter cubed. And our mercury is 13,600 newtons or oh, kilograms per meter cubed. And so, as you remember from our last video, we can find the pressure at each point just given the, the difference in our heights between each fluid level. So I'm going to start from the left hand side and we'll work from the gauge and you just be careful because it is given to us as kilopascals and we need to convert it to pascals. So our P gauge or we can say our P at at this point right here is 370,000 kilopascals. So we have 370,000 pascals. And it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter if you're there, there, or there. The, the pressure is the same because we know that air, the molecules are spread out over a large area. So it doesn't matter the weight of the air above you is really not significant at all. However, once we get to water, we know that water exerts a large force. The further you go down, the pressure gets bigger. So we want to find out what our pressure change is from, from here to there. So, if we're starting here, 
we know that the water is above where we're starting so that is decrease in pressure so we're going to minus our row of water which is 1000 times gravity 9.81 times our height so the difference in height is 45 centimeters which is 0.45 meters I guess I'll just erase that. And so now we need to go from here, from our oil, to where the oil meets the mercury. So now we need to do it in terms of the oil because we're traveling through the oil. So the end of the oil is below our starting point so that is an increase in pressure the further you go down you have an increase in pressure so we're going to add our specific or our density of oil which is 790 so we're going to add 790 times 9.81 times our difference in height which is 50 centimeters or 0.5 meters So now we need to go from the mercury or the, the transition point from oil and mercury to where the mercury meets the, the gasoline. And again, our ending point is above our starting point, so that is a decrease in pressure. So we're going to minus our 13,600 kilograms per meter cubed times our gravity which is 9.81 times our difference in height which is 10 centimeters or 0.1 meters so that just gives us this point right here well this isn't where the pipe is we need to find out what it is at the center of the pipe so we are still in gasoline or we are now in gasoline so we need to find out so our difference in height is 22 centimeters or 0.2 meters with a with a density of 700 kilograms per meters cubed so we're going to minus the pressure since again our ending point is below our starting point so we're going to minus the 700 times 9.81 times our 0.22 meters and this is all going to be equal to our pressure inside our gasoline pipe so let's see we have we have 370,000 pascals minus we have 1,000 times 9.81 times 0.45 gives us minus 4,414 point five pascals and we have an addition of 790 times 9.81 times 0.5 so we're adding 3874.95 pascals and we're going to minus 13600 times 9.81 times 0.1 and so that is going to be minus thirteen thousand three hundred and forty one point six pascals and lastly seven hundred times nine point eight one times point two two gives us a uh, minus one thousand five hundred and ten point seven four well, 7.4.
is equal to our pressure in the gasoline pipe. So now let's just add everything up. We have 370,000 minus 4414.5 plus 3874.95 minus 13341.6 minus 1510.74 so all this so our pressure inside our gasoline pipe is equal to 354,608.11 pascals or is equal to 354.6 kilopascals. So again, we just found out the difference in height from each from each point. As we can see from water, that is a decrease in pressure, and from our oil, that is an increase in pressure from our mercury it is also a decrease in pressure and the gasoline once again being a decrease in pressure the only difference is we're given our specific gravities and we just need to convert that to our densities using our specific gravity is equal to our densities the density of the fluid over the density of our known fluid, which is water. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, and I will do my best to clarify. Thank you.